implementing DKIM on Office 365 is pretty simple. Um, there's essentially these five steps, which I'll discuss in detail in a minute. Um, first thing that we have to do is collect a little bit of information about the domain that we're going to be using. This is all information that we can discover in our Office 365 tenant or by using uh, tools to go check uh, different records in DNS. We need to, after collecting that information, we have to compile the, that data into two uh, records, two DKIM records that we're going to publish into DNS. Next step would be actually publishing those records into DNS. After publishing those, we want to do a quick test to make sure that everything's working correctly. Uh, and then we want to enable DKIM signing in Office 365. There may be an additional step depending on the domain, uh, depending on how you're sending your mail, um, there may be an additional step. Uh, if you're using other sources for sending email other than Office 365, so you're using a constant contact or survey monkey or something along those lines, um, then you may have to perform some additional configuration to ensure that those sources are also signing the records or signing the emails rather uh, using uh, DKIM. Uh, 